I planted some of my summer vegetables here but especially in this planter uh, I see you know when the plants were young many plants were eaten away from here you know you come out in the morning and you see that the plant is lying down uh, it's been cut and then uh, you see you know there are holes in the leaves like this so then I was looking carefully and I saw a lot of roly polies I don't know if you can see here is one uh, they don't come out in sun as much there's one here so there are a lot of roly polies in this uh, bed um, and they are good you know they are good decomposers um, so they are very good in compost but then when they are hungry they eat plants too so you know these plants in this um, planter they are not thriving so I have done a few things and there's another um, planter which has the same problem so one is that I have put these uh, paper cups you know I have removed the bottom from the cup now look you can see that there is a roly-poly here now it cannot get to the plant because it has to climb up and then go down there so uh, you know that is one way of dealing with roly polies so when the plants are really tiny you can do this and uh, it especially worked you know in my other planter let me show you so i did it here in my this planter there are eggplant seedlings so i put cups around it and now roly polies cannot get in and they are doing much better you can see that they look pretty healthy now and once they grow a little bit taller then i can just cut away the cup so that is one uh, solution to the problem when the plants are really young now if you look at these you know these plants are really tall and still you know something is eating away i don't see any uh, caterpillars or anything like this on the plant so i suspect that it's the roly polies that are uh, you know getting up the plant and eating it or maybe ants i bought this diatomaceous earth so uh, this is really good to uh, curb roly polies so i'm going to just take a little bit of this powder and spread it around the plants and we'll see so I'm going to just spread it all around the plants so the way diatomaceous powder works is that it sticks to uh, the insects and inflict uh, cuts and they slowly die I know it sounds cruel but uh, you know you can hurt your plants or you can hurt the insects who are hurting your plants choice is yours so um, I mean if you see that bugs are eating your plants you can use this powder which uh, inflicts wounds on the insects and they die so I have spread it across the plants so we'll see it seems like to me that this has worked because you know I don't see these plants getting worse and I planted these two bitter gourd plants here and I don't see any holes so it seems like uh, the bugs are not eating those and even this one with the cup around it, it seems to be growing now so it's been one week that I spread the diatomaceous powder around the plants and I don't see any new holes in any plants. You know, the ones that I planted there, they have no new holes and I can show you that one. Uh, this was the bitter goat plant that was already there but it was not doing that well and now you can see fresh leaves and there are no holes. So the roly polies are not eating it. Same thing here. In any of these uh, bigger plants, I don't see any new holes. I mean, of course, the old leaves have holes, but the new leaves don't have holes. And look at this one. 
this was like really struggling because all the leaves were eaten but now you can see fresh leaves and there are uh, no holes in here so uh, this powder definitely works and of course the cup worked too now here i had put you know the powder also and the cup also so you can't really tell but let me show you my eggplants look at these eggplants they have grown so big you can see that some of the old leaves have holes but the new leaves they don't have holes and they have grown taller than the cup uh, previously you may have noticed that you know they were uh, below the cup rim line so the cup method works too so basically if you have roly polies or any other bugs or ants uh, eating up your plants uh, you can try any of these two methods. If the plants are young, you can use, uh, you know, some very smooth cups. Uh, use the cups which are smooth so that bugs cannot uh, climb up that easily. And uh, put them across the plant. Or if the plants are big like those, then you can just spread diatomaceous powder uh, around the plants and that helps try both of these methods and hopefully your plants will start to grow well so i hope this short video was useful to you if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family and i'll see you next time happy gardening bye